National Weather Service reported there may have been as many as 10 tornadoes on the ground during the evening hours. Mugo Odigwe joining us live in Bridgeview with a look at what people may be waking up to. Mugo, I know it's still dark out there, but uh, what are you seeing as you pull up there? Yeah, so we've been driving throughout the area this morning looking for damage, especially out here in Bridgeview. And this is what we came across. If you look down here, you can see just this huge part of the street that came tumbling down because of the strong winds from the storms that we saw yesterday. And if we pan up, you can see part of where that tree broke in half when it came down. But we're not just talking about what we're seeing out here. I want to get you to video of what other areas looked like, especially as the strong winds and the rain came tumbling down, which was raining throughout the day yesterday, especially last night. Even as we were out in our own house, we could feel the wind and hear it as well. But take a look at this video because what you're seeing here, this is near Foster and Pittsburgh. Part of this tree basically broke in half. Then there's also this other tree that uprooted from the ground. And we're not just talking about trees. Check out this partially collapsed building bricks just all over the ground again because of the storms that we saw last night and over on Maple Avenue. This large tree fell on a nearby home. We're told people near Cumberland Avenue were dealing with power line issues. Some trucks parked out there basically trying to restore power for people who live in the area. And then we came across a car which which the windshield was shattered again because of downed trees. But back out live here again, what we're seeing is this huge tree on the ground. This is a driveway out here, Audrina, but you can't really get in or out of this driveway because of the tree that is blocking it. I will also mention a very sad situation because it's not just cleanup that people will be dealing with today over in Cedar Lake, Indiana. We're told one person was killed after a tree fell on a home. So again, cleanup and a very unfortunate situation for people over in Cedar Lake, Indiana. I'll send it back to you, Audrina. Yeah, so devastating, Mugo. Thank you so much for giving us a look at the damage that you're seeing there. And turning now.